What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave with another showcase video of the LG GX or CX. Um, I had a request to do another HGIG video on The Last of Us 2. And uh, again, I'd made a video before about HGIG, how I feel that it's a benefit to video games in game mode. Now HGIG stands for HDR Gaming Info Group. And they're a group designed to give developers um, the tools to maximize HDR settings with these nice, incredible new TVs we're getting. And I feel that HDIG is beneficial for all games, regardless of if it was programmed with HDIG or not, because the, the options that it gives you is dynamic tone mapping on, off, or HDIG. Now, off is your baseline bare bones basic HDR but if you really want to make the game pop show that crispiness and detail of the brightness and in, in, in the background scenes and things like that then dynamic tone mapping kind of accentuates that but what I'm saying is now with HGIG it's a nice balance between off and necessary HD, uh, uh, HDR graphics which aren't going over to the blooming stage or the over brightening of the the white levels now dynamic tone mapping on is going to give you that that pop that brightness that some people need because they're not using an oled in a dark room which they should or they're coming from a qled which is always bright and popping out and they go to an oled and they want to keep it similar to a qled so they turn that dynamic tone mapping on to make it brighter but then you look at the background details and the clouds and in the white scenes and it's going to actually reduce the detail because it's so bright and it's overblowing those whites so with HDIG it's a nice balance between off and necessary HDR brightness so this is Ellie here um, Last of Us 2 and I'm going to show you my settings now my current HDR game settings so of course we're going to be in the game mode Picture mode settings, game user, HDR picture mode, of course. We're going to be at 100 OLED light and 100 contrast. Now, before what I was saying with the burn-in thing situation, yes, blowing out your, your contrast and, and brights is going to lead to potentially having uh, burn-in and uh, uh, image retention if you abuse the TV or panel by leaving a static image on for four hours. But now with doing some research, HDR, you want, really want to maximize the brightness of the panel to benefit the HDR graphics. Okay, HDR is high dynamic range. High dynamic range means you want that color. You want that brightness. Okay, it just, it's the, 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 the source is designed to be on a bright picture. Okay, so we want to put this at 100. Just for HDR gaming. It's important. Now, brightness at 50. I don't mess with that because I want to keep it the deep black. Now, sharpness is debatable. Some say zero is the director's intent. I think for video games, being as their graphics, um, I want to have a little bit of sharpness to it. I don't want to see any kind of a soft graphical picture quality. So I'm in between. You know, 10 is default. 7 is a nice balance of not going uh, too high and not too low. 57 color, I like a little more saturation because it's a video game. Now, advanced controls, well, let's do that last. Picture options, auto, off and off. Right? I'm not messing with the BFI. Blackfield insertion does smooth out the graphics a little bit by sacrificing brightness. So for me, I don't really use BFI at all, so I'm okay with that, with a little bit of a little bit of choppiness to get a little bit bright, brighter picture. Now, with 120 hertz, 120 frames per second, that's a different story. We'll turn that on. Okay. Advanced contrast, advanced controls, um, we're not messing with that stuff. We're talking about dynamic tone mapping. So right now it's off. This is your baseline, basic, bare bones HDR picture. It's fine. It's fantastic. Now we turn dynamic tone mapping on, you notice it's going to get brighter. Whoa. Okay. It's brighter, yes. But for me, I, I don't want to sacrifice detail to have a brighter picture. Okay. Uh, turning, turning H, you know, 
dynamic tone mapping on is like putting your game in vivid mode and vivid will blow out some things I mean, you don't want that now when I go HDIG it's a little dimmer but it's a nice balance of in between off and on so right here in, the, in this house right here this the paneling here or the the texture I can still see detail I can still see detail here if I go on it's gonna be brighter yes but then I lose a little bit of detail okay it's a little bit a little bit too bright HGIG a little dimmer but detail is there and it's better than off now another scene I want to show you here so we turn the camera around to the sun okay there's your sun we go on you lose that detail it's blowing it out a little bit it's brighter yes but you're, you're blowing out a little bit around it losing that detail HGIG on you're still seeing the sun you're still seeing the detail around the sun it's a nice, nice progression here. Nice roll off here. It's very nice. Now, when you put HDIG on, then this is PlayStation, of course. But when you do HDIG, you want to go back into the the PlayStation settings and reset the HDR. Re reset the HDR picture setting in the system itself. But yeah, dynamic tone mapping on is just, it blows out everything, much brighter, vivid mode for HDR games. Don't like it, don't want to sacrifice detail. HGIG is a nice balance. A nice balance of off and HGIG on. Off. HGIG. And then on. So hopefully guys... I would recommend if you have a C9, B9, or a C10, G10, or, or beyond, absolutely use HGIG on all your games. If you really want to get the most detail and know that you're getting the best performance of your HDR gaming, I'd recommend it. Even if you, you few out there say it's only meant for one game, Call of Duty. HGIG can be used on all games and it's just a better overall picture. All right, guys, so hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. HGIG all the way for me for all my games. I love this TV. But make sure you're doing a 100, 100, 100 OLED, 100 contrast for HDR gaming only. And, of course, you know, Dolby, Dolby, Dolby Vision and stuff, too. That's important. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps you out. Like, subscribe, share. And... uh yeah, this game is amazing. The best gaming TV out there. It's fantastic. Take care, guys. Home Theater Rules. LG OLED, of course. See you next time. Peace out.